What's going on YouTube? Clay Cusalt back again finally with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and I do have a couple of updates before we get into what happened in the news today. So you guys may be wondering, you may not have seen my post on Twitter, you may not have seen my post on YouTube, but uh, sadly about a week now my older brother did pass away from a heart attack. It was very abrupt, no one was expecting it and it's been very hard on me. So I took last week off, the funeral was just a couple days ago so I'm still dealing with that but I've got to push on and I've just got to try to do my best to, uh, you know, be me and, and try to keep a smile on my face and do what would make my brother proud and what he would probably want me to be doing anyway instead of just sulking around, you know what I mean? So we're going to try to put that in the rearview mirror, but I just wanted to let you guys know that's why I haven't been around. Uh, two is I am leaving Wednesday to go visit that cloud again uh, in Vegas to get my tattoo finish along with seeing the My Hero Academia movie. But I will be doing a stream on Friday to be pulling for the new FanFesta units, which I think they're going to have their own banner. We'll get into that in a minute. So I just wanted to update you guys on that with the streaming and everything like that. Uh, but moving on to what's actually happening in FFBE right now. So we have this reward wheel right here, and it is kind of like a mixed uh, feeling with everyone. So I'm going to get into it, and then I'm going to give you guys my opinion. So the reward wheel essentially is you watch an ad, and after watching the ad, watch a short video for a chance to spend for free rewards. It looks like you can get... Uh, 30 lapis, 5 lapis, 10, 100 lapis, 2 pots, energy pots, or 1 energy pot. And you can see how it's distributed to where, you know, the heart, the, the 100 lapis is like almost impossible to get, right? It's like pretty tough. Um, then also, after you do a bunch of videos, you, uh, you get a milestone reward. And you can see there's 500 lapis there. Uh, and then you can look right here. It shows it where it's going to be located in the game. You can see the top left corner. There's going to be a little TV. You click on that. You can watch so many ads a day, spin the wheel so many times, and then get towards those milestone rewards. This is all free. So uh, you can do this for free, obviously. That What you're paying with is your time um, and your, I guess, your brain. So you're getting ad ads thrown in your face. Personally, I think this is a great addition to the game. I do not agree with the people who say this is somehow detrimental to the game, somehow making this game less... I don't know, noble than what it is anyway. Now, you, you're, you're free to have your opinion. I think that's just a little bit too high horse road to take, um, especially when the it's not really in your face. It doesn't, it doesn't show an ad right when you get into the game. Uh, you have to click that, and they're giving you rewards for watching the ads instead of just rewarding you with being able to play the game if you watch the ads. I think this is a great addition for all people. Free to play, uh, pay to play. I, they used to have this in a game called The Alchemist Code. I don't know if you guys have played that. You would get a ton of energy for watching. You could watch up to five ads a day. You fill your energy up and you could play for hours after that. Now, I don't think this is going to be the extent of how big the rewards are here, but I don't know. I haven't been able to play with it. But the fact that you can just spend a little bit of your time, you don't even have to watch it. You can just click them on, put your phone down for a second, pick it back up after it's over, and spin the wheel. I mean, you don't, you're don't, you not forced to actually engage in it. Uh, and it's on the side, and if you don't want to deal with it at all, you never have to click that button, so you're going to be good to go. I think this is a great addition, and I'm very excited for it to come. It's going to give you guys a lot more energy to play the game daily, and lapis so you can do your pulls or whatever you guys want to do with. Here's another great thing coming to the uh, in regards to the game. I'm just going to go ahead and read this off. We have received your feedback regarding communication on the 5-star select summon tickets. Moving forward, we will release a monthly in-game notice stating the dates of the events where players will have a chance to receive 5-star select summon tickets. So they're always, every month, they're going to have an in-game uh, notification telling you guys, making sure you know which uh, events and what time you're going to be able to get those uh, select summon tickets on. Awesome. We will continue to work towards communicating in a timely manner with our players, which is actually happening. Like with the true, du uh, the true dual world, excuse me. Um, you know, bug. As soon as they heard about it, as soon as they, uh, the big Reddit post came up, they made an in-game issue report talking about how they're going to fix it in the next big patch. Uh, they've been doing it on their Twitter. They've been talking to the community, and there's been a lot of in-game announcements as well, much more than we had in the past. So that's pretty good. As mentioned in a previous announcement on uh, 9-11, players will be able to receive a 5-star select summon ticket from the Darkness Awakens event starting this Friday. So, I don't know what Darkness Awaken is, but we're going to have to figure that out. But you guys are going to be able to get another UOC ticket then. Uh, players can also summon their favorite units for free, once per player, from the free 10 plus 1 summon featuring FanFesta units. And that will be starting this Friday, and you can do it until the 12th of October. So it's going to be very uh, important that you guys get that uh, free 10 plus 1 summon in, because it's free, and you don't want to miss out on it. And what it seems like it's saying here is that, of course, we're getting the fi uh, FanFest units this Friday. They haven't shown them in-game yet. Um, however, this shows me that they're probably going to be paid units. So instead of getting them just for free, 
Uh, I'm assuming some of them are going to be paid. I'm actually really happy about that. I'm really hoping, I think his name is Beryl. He's the Tonberry unit. I think he was the coolest design unit out of all the FanFesta um, units. He had a great design. I don't know if they're actually going to make him how the guy designed him, because I think he had two different forms. The Tonberry had like a life and a death form or something like that. But I, I want him to be good. I want him to be a five-star base going to seven-star super useful unit. Who doesn't want to have a Tonberry on their team? And, and, and it's just the design was beautiful. And, and all the units were very beautifully designed and very awesome. So I'm hoping they're not all free. I'm hoping there is a banner with some free. Maybe it's like a raid and there's some free in the raid you can obtain. You get the TMR Moogles from the raid to be able to get them. I'm hoping that how it is, go, uh, is how it goes. But I think this announcement here is amazing. Communication has been at an all-time high. Uh, they're going to do it monthly. You can see here that monthly they're going to announce this, which is a great step in the right direction. And we get a free 10 plus 1 summon on the FanFest unit, so that's pretty good. Uh, moving on down, we do get this new 10-man uh, uh, trial in the Chamber of Arms. Uh, pretty much, we talked about this before. We get ourselves a crown, and this crown is actually bonkers, guys. You want this. This is best in slot on your Magic Dealer users uh, for a lot of you guys. Uh, 50 Magic is insane with 32. Middle 5 Confusion giving us some Confusion uh, Resist. I do not know how hard this boss is going to be. I'm very excited to try it out. And I'm very excited to try my Heo with my Orlando and see if I can just chain this bad boy down. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm excited to try this out and, and fight it uh, and see, see what's up. Uh, see what's going on there. We might try it Friday. I'm unsure on that. Uh, moving on down. Three-star Esper unlocked. Finrear uh, turns into Master Yi from League of Legends with all the eyeballs. Um, we're going to be able to get three-star Finrear if you guys want. Uh, you guys are going to fight him up, grab him, uh, snatch him up. That's pretty good, giving us a lot of stuff to do. The story continues, and I am so far behind in the story, guys. Last week, I was in such a blur after, obviously, what happened to me. I was just dragging my feet. I didn't even know I was logging into a Brave Exodus. I, I thought I'd missed a bunch of login days, but apparently at some point during the day, I clicked it and logged in. Uh, but I'm way behind on the story. I don't even have Alexander yet. But here's some more story for you guys. The story's just really picking up. I really want to do it. I just haven't had time to do it. Um, and I think that's about it. This right here is the... Uh, is the summon thing. So that's about it they've uh, announced in the news. We have the maintenance coming, of course. Um, so overall, I, I am very excited about what, what's coming. I, I, I am so excited for this Tom Barry unit. You have no idea. I've been waiting for it since they picked it at FanFesta. And I'm hoping that it's a five-star base. Uh, you know, it probably will be a double five-star base banner. Maybe it'll be a step up. Please, please be a step up. Um, I'm truly excited for the game overall and as a whole, uh, with the communication coming through, with them announcing they're going to announce when the unit of choice tickets are coming. Uh, we're getting a free 10 plus 1 summon ticket. We have a bunch of story events, some trials, a new 3-star Esper to fight. I still haven't beat that new Marlboro trial. I got messed up at the end when they, two of the little mini Marlboros popped down. They were magic, you know, they were weak to magic, and I had my double Heo trying to kill it. It's, it's been a fun time for, and Brave Exodus, and I'm happy to be here. Uh, let's just talk about real quick past things that happened, since the video is not too long at this point. I am not summing at all in the summer banner units. I'm really sad Rain wasn't on there. That's the guy I wanted, honestly. I think the units are pretty cool looking. I think that's cool design. Um, but overall, none of the TMRs and none of the units themselves really uh, splash out to me <laughs> and make me want to really get them. Uh, so I'm going to be skipping over on that. Uh, referring to the actual step-ups for the seven-star, you know, past units they have, I think there's a great value if you are looking for one of those seven-stars. Um, I, I, any step-up banner is really awesome, and if you really want to grab your, you know, Tidus or something like that uh, to be able to help you out, you can do that. Uh, referring to people who are asking me if I have a, a two Heo, if I have a seven-star Heo, excuse me, should I make T to 7 star? Now, that, that depends on which one you want to use. I do believe you're going to get a lot more use out of your Heo, as you're going to have a lot more uh, Divine Relation Chainers on your friend list, and he doesn't do as... He does more damage, excuse me. Titus doesn't do as much damage, and Heo is much, much easier to use than Titus is. Uh, but if you really like Titus, go ahead. Uh, quick Hit people are going to be able to chain with you. I think Queen just got added to the Quick Hit family uh, with her 7 star update. Uh, going on to another thing we talk about, a lot of people are like, Clayk, why are you against Nyx? Why don't you like Nyx? First off, Nyx is a badass. I love him from the movies. The only reason I don't really like him is his 10-man uh, trial use is super low. He can only chain with himself or Yoon. Um, but other than that, he does more damage than Heo at the end of the day. With a fixed dice build, he has more, um, you know, support, utility, and he can actually dish out the damage. The only problem is you have to have your friend list tailored to Nyx. I do believe Nyx will... So Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Uh, I do believe Nyx will slowly fall away. He, I think he's like, kind of hype right now if you do have some, and I think he'll slowly fall away as more units come out. Um, but that's just me. I, I do believe Titus is a better choice if you have to choose between the two. If you only have Nyx, you have the strongest da damage dealer in the game. It's just going to be hard to find uh, chainers, and you're not really going to be able to use them that well in 10-man. So I hope I got everything out of the way. They're kind of catching up. 
Uh, oh, one more thing. Oh, another thing I want to talk about. Sorry. Uh, Roberta is a beast. The people who are telling you Roberta is not amazing, they're lying to you. If you are going against a human, Roberta is your answer. So we have all of a beast finisher when it comes to uh, machines. Uh, pretty simple to use because she could blow up on turn one or whatever if you need to do a one turn KO. And then you have Roberta who has a time jump now where she can jump in the air. You can click. She comes down and you can finish with her. And that has 200% man killer, man eater on it. So that's going to be insane against humans. There are a lot of humans in the game. I think Roberta is a top tier finisher when it comes to this game. Uh, in terms of 7 star, you can get that killer ability up there so high. She will freaking destroy anything. So that's pretty exciting. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which one of the fan festival units was your favorite. I'm actually, I actually don't know which one you guys are looking forward to too much. For me, it's the Tom Barry. And then subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.